Hi guys, I'm officially on my next two projects. Uh, I'm under contract to probably close today, hopefully. This is one of the two houses. This is the other one here. That one is already rented out. This one will be a flip. I'm on the roof right now, trying to take measurements here because I'm putting a metal roof. And uh, I'm probably gonna put a metal roof on the shed down there too. As you can see, my hair is shorter in this video here because it's past more than two weeks. Fact is, after I took measurements, I looked around for companies that were selling metal roofs. What I learned is if you go to local shops compared to Home Depot, prices tend to be much cheaper and the quality is either the same or even better. Home Depot has everything, but they follow, focus on quantity. Um, these guys uh, sell you for better prices uh, because that's what they focus on. Uh, I found a company that discount, I mean, pretty much sold me everything at a 30% discount compared to Home Depot. I was able to buy the entire roof for less than a thousand dollars. It was actually, I think, 800 and I still had two sheets left. So even less than that, I was very happy with that. Hey guys, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. Everybody's sleeping in my house. I'm getting ready because we're about to drive three hours to Lynchburg to start working on this roof. I think we are here, guys. Yeah, as you can see in that video there, I did not take good measurements of my car, so I had a whole couple of feet coming out of my car with of those panels. What I was able to do is tie everything down, add a little red signal sign at the back of those panels, so I was legally able to go around and drove very slowly and cautiously and finally made it to the houses. If you can hire somebody to bring the stuff here or if the company brings it there, maybe that's the best thing to do. If you have a big truck, okay. If you have a van, don't do what I'm doing at home, please. So first job of today is getting the roll on the roof. Now what specifically is that roll? It's a membrane that allows the metal roof to expand and contract throughout the years without rubbing and scratching the paint underneath the roof. Why do you want to preserve the paint? Because the paint protects it from rusting, especially if you're bolting it on an original asphalt shingle roof. You might be asking why am I not replacing and taking out the asphalt roof? Because according to technicians, and generally speaking, you can bolt the new roof straight on the old one. On top of this, I also learned that if you leave the original asphalt shingles it will add a tiny bit of extra insulation to your roof which is a win-win for me because it's less work on one side and extra efficiency on the other brush my hair in days yeah, in. also mr austin look at this man here you see us installing a drip edge. This is a little thing that you put on roofs that keeps the water away from the roof, even at the sides. It's a few screws and it's very simple. Here's a little trick when you have all the panels one on top of the other, just measure all at once and drill through all of them all together as I'm doing here. You guys, in all this, uh, my phone fell from the roof, so I lost signal, like my, my entire cellular data is gone. And uh, we had to pick up a couple of other tools. So once drilled, Austin started installing them by putting the screws in and I started disassembling a few of the bricks on this chimney to then reinforce what was remaining. At this point here, I helped Austin prepping all these uh, side joints. These are called gable joints. And I added some of this butyl tape, which is basically silicone on steroids uh, to help uh, avoid leaks. Uh, Austin kept on working on the roof while I had to bring some extra material from one of our sides to this one here as I'm prepping for my next job, which is building the wall. The whole phone issue slowed us down by an entire three hours, which forced us to finish up the roof the next day. Now, the hardest part of all this wasn't the roof itself, it was the connection between the wall that goes still higher, if you saw correctly, the, there are two roofs. One is the high roof and the one we're building is the lower one, and there's a wall, of course. So, on that section there, we decided to put the metal under the vinyl so that the water would go over the vinyl on the metal and then run on the roof and go out. If it would have been a brick wall the way I saw it being done, is to basically put the flat part of that wall connector iron piece uh, on the brick, uh, stick it, uh, and then put uh, some of that, uh, let's say, petrol-based compound to, to have the water, to watertight it, to make it watertight, to let the water, uh, water run above it and not under it. That is pretty much what took us most of the time. All the rest was pretty much done in two to three hours. So 
if we calculated things better, if the phone thing didn't happen, we would have finished the roof probably in less than a day. And I gotta say, as a roof itself, it was a pretty simple job than any DIYer can do if they do correct planning. As I said, if you do a metal roof, you can simply put it on top of the asphalt one. You will maybe have some extra insulation according to technicians and articles out there. And if you do it yourself, uh, you are saving a couple of extra grand. The material is not that expensive as I thought it would be. So to me, it's a 10 out of 10 because it looks bloody beautiful.